But that's a little bit close. Now, well, that's, these trees are fine how they are. Now, I know that the return on this is not going to be as great as, like, let's say if I uh, uh, did, like, an MFR farm. I get that, and that's okay, but let's drop these in the ground and watch him pick them up. Go get them. And then we go down here, and we'll see our sorting golem is going to put everything where it goes. So you might be thinking, why do I need this translocator here? Well, here's why. Because the sorting golem can only put things into an inventory if that thing is already in the inventory. So he can easily put the saplings in here because there will always be some saplings in there. He can easily put the apples in here because there will always be apples in there. What about in this case? What about if all the oak wood got cooked up by the alloy smeltery? He would not know where to put the oak wood. So it's important that we leave some oak wood in there at all times. Otherwise, the golem can't do his job. Uh, let's get some bone meal and pop a couple of those trees up right now and see what happens. Okay. Let's see. So there's our little farm. Let's head on in and... Bone meal a tree there. And here comes Choppy McChops a lot. He's hopping around like he wants to do something. He's not doing nothing, but he certainly looks like he wants to. Come on, grow. Dude. Choppy McChops a lot. There he goes. You get him go. And here comes Gather Golem to put the oak wood away. Hey. Fast leaf decay is working. That's good. And look at the dude already replanted. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so freaking rad. Okay. Yeah, this is so cool. Okay. All right, buddy. Okay, is, where are you going? Where's he going? Come back! <laughs> That's the problem, is that I'm worried that he might see something out here. Like, if I drop something over here, is he going to try to come pick it up? Oh, good, zombies. Look at this whole freaking line of zombies here to get me, dude. Zombie jerk. I got the frog hat. That's good. Okay. Pick that up. <laughs> okay. I hope the gather golem pick, picks everything up before it's too late here. Stop hopping around. Get to work. Okay. I think it might be time for a guard golem. Poozerfruit gave me an idea. Since I've been doing a lot of golemy stuff lately, Poozerfruit said, hey, why don't you, instead of using torches around your base, put up a bunch of guard golems? I think that's a cool idea. Look, he's doing it. They're doing it. He's putting everything away. Now, hopefully, he goes and picks up that oak wood over there. Come on. Go do it. Go on. Put it away and go get the other stuff. Come on. Okay. He's going to pick up all that. Put all that away. Can he not see that stuff over in this corner over here, I wonder? Maybe he can't see that stuff? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I bothered planting that. I didn't tell anyone to chop it down. In fact, that's a really dumb idea. I should move that right now. <laughs> if I'm not going to tell them to maintain it, it's probably a bad idea to put it there. Pick that stuff up. Oh, my God, with the zombies. Where are you? I don't think the zombies will mess with my golems. I've tested that, and they don't seem to care about the golems. Okay, so these guys are working. 
He's doing his thing. This is doing its thing. We got that cooking. Apples are going. We've got plenty of saplings. Uh, we're never going to have much in the way of oak wood because as soon as we get it, it's going to get cooked into charcoal. So with that in mind, let us... What kind of... Where's the charcoal barrel? Is it the obsidian one? Yes, it is. So we're going to do something here. Uh-huh. Working on getting myself an obsidian upgrade here. Let's do gold next. We need one gold. We need one diamond. We need one obsidian. Let's get a little four pieces of obsidian here for that purpose. Uh, obsidian. Okay, come here to me. Now we need a couple of these. Frick. Okay, so I need to make. All right, I need to make a bunch of. Ah, God dang it! This is gonna be. This is gonna suck. Okay, what kind of wood do I have a lot of? Not really anything. I just cooked up all my goddamn oak wood. How many of these do I need to make? I need to make six of these. No? Yes, I need to make six of these. So here, that's what I'll do. I need six barrels and 12 pistons. Just barely don't have enough pistons. I must have ran out of planks. That's fine. I'll use eucalyptus planks. I don't care. Come on. There. Make all this shit into that shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to go lumber axe some trees down because I used up all my damn oak wood setting up that farm. Okay, that was a fun lumbering session. So I should now have enough uh, lumber, enough oak wood and stuff to do what I'm trying to do here. I don't know why I didn't just put that where it needed to go, but whatever. Put away this bone meal. Put away all these seeds. Put away this. I don't want that right now. Put away the lumber axe. I'm done with that for the time being. I don't know why I have all these ender pearls with me. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make... Uh, we're going to make a bunch of chests. We're going to make... We're going to need some, some of these. Some of those guys. So we'll make a few of these. And uh, then we're going to need a lot of chests, so let's make some of those now. I think we might even need more chests. Let's make some more. No. Get out of here. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough, I think. Um, now we need to make our barrels. Let's do that. Uh-huh. And then we'll put the, these guys on top. Okay. Let's make some more barrels. Why not? I'm sure we'll need them at some point. Okay. Okay, now we got the barrels and we got the pistons. I think that the recipe is like so. There it is. Let's make all those. We have 11. Well, I only needed six, but I guess I got extras. Um, there. That's all I needed. Uh, okay. Let's put away the extra stuff we don't need. That and that. We don't need these extra barrels. We'll put those away. I am only made the extras because I'm sure I will need them. All right, so then we're going to do this now. Oh, you know what? I forgot to make I forgot to make the tuning fork. How do I make that? Do I have any iron? I can grab some iron. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Tuning fork. Okay, so now let's start with the upgrades. Boom. Iron. Gold. Diamond. Obsidian. Hey, come back. Obsidian. Uh, we're going to put one of those. And we have these B-Space upgrades. We're going to put one of those. Okay, so now this thing should have... This thing should have... It has the B-Space... Okay, perfect. Let's go over to our other one. Okay, where is he going? Oh, no. I'll get that. <laughs> he came all the way out here to get this damn sapling. Go pick that up. Wow. <laughs> he's, he's smart, dude. He knew to go around and everything. All right, so this down here is working just as planned. Oakwood's right there. Okay, so this barrel is pretty much always going to be empty. The only time it might not be is if this thing can't keep up, which is probably never going to happen. Um, so let's put in our storage upgrade. Let's put in our B-Space upgrade. Okay, so now... Okay, I gotta make the mad dash here. 
I'm gonna right click on you. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on, Kyrie. You gotta want it. Oh boy, you gotta want it, Kyrie. You're gonna have to run. I gotta get down there before this the timer runs out on the fork. You can see it kind of dwindling down there. Am I gonna make it? Get down there! Come on, go! I'm sorry, yelled in your ear, guys. Ah! ah! I got it! I got it! So you, I barely got here in time, by the way. So the way that these work is you right click them with the tuning fork and you can make the two barrels connected. So now this barrel and the other barrel share inventories. The only thing is they have to have the exact same structure. So you wouldn't be able to link, say, this gold barrel and this obsidian barrel because they're not one's gold, one's obsidian. And they also have to have the same upgrades in them. They obviously have to have the beast face upgrade, but they also have to have the same storage upgrades. So yeah, these two barrels can easily be linked together. Now they share inventories. So I have access to my charcoal from out there from in here. I don't have to go out to the farm to get to my charcoal. Uh, the last thing I want to do today before we call it a day is I want to set up something fun. Where's my wool? Need some wool. I'm going to need some of you. One, two, three, four. I'm actually going to need another ender pearl. I'm going to need some redstone. Not nether quartz. I need redstone. I need iron. Okay, I need iron. All my damn iron's over here. Oh, can I scan that? Cool. Oh, I should have scanned those upgrades before I put them in there. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like anytime you have anything, man, you should always scan it. Okay, so let's mm, get... Do I have any chests? I don't think I do, but I should have like a... I used up all my goddamn pistons, didn't I, making those upgrades? Fuck. Do, oh, wait, do I need a piston? Yeah, I do. I only need one, though. It's perfect. Okay. So I want to make a translocator, which, as I recall, was... Uh, Piston, ender pearl, iron, gold, redstone. Is this right? Did I get this right off the top of my head? No. There it is. Okay. And the other thing I want to make is an... I want actually one more of you. Okay. Let's make two chests. One... Two. Two chests. I actually need well, now there's some more blaze rods. I'm going to need some obsidian. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a stack. That thing's going to kick on and start cooking some... Uh, it's going to kick on and start cooking some... What's it called? Some of that uh, ice for me right now. Okay, why are you not making two? Oh, I know why. Let's get some wool. That's why. Hey. Alright, so we're going to make two ender chests. And I now I have two ender chests. What kind of do I have any black dye? No. Okay. Well, we'll use a different color. We'll use something. What do I have? Well, I can use this to make black. Death bloom. Black dye. So let's place our two ender chests. Boom, boom. So what's the deal with ender chests? Well, they share inventory. So whatever I put in this chest will also appear in that chest because they share inventory. As you know, I can color code them like this. So now this one won't share with that one because they have different color codes. But if I make their color codes identical again, suddenly they're sharing inventory again. So why am I doing this? Well, here's why. Okay, let's pick these up. Pick that up. And we're going to go underneath here. We're going to put this ender chest right over here. Okay, so... I'm going to use a translocator like this and like that. And we're going to put a diamond on this one. Diamond nugget. We're going to say to the translocator, we're going to say, keep a stack of coal in here at all times. Let's turn it on. And there's our stack of coal. So if I were to grab some coal out, it'll fill it right back up. Pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Why did I do that? Why was that important to me? Well, because let's say that there's a system somewhere where I need to have uh, where I need to have coal like ready to go. 
Like I need some charcoal for something. Like, let, okay, that's a good example. Let's go show you this. Let's go down to the engine room. So I always need charcoal for my engines, right? Like that's an all the time thing. And easy, I can just put this ender chest right here. Like right there. And boom, now I have access to charcoal. I'm going to grab some. And it'll fill it right back up for me. And then I can put this into the engines. So I can do all this. Now I have access to charcoal down here 24-7. I actually intend to automate this by maybe using translocators or something. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to automate it with translocators. I'll, I'll do that next time. Uh, those translocators are pretty goddamn cool though, huh? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I think I ran long. I was I, I actually stopped timing it a while ago. But either way, I thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it, we did some pretty goddamn cool stuff today. If you don't agree, well, you're dumb. I can't help that. Uh, I put away the blaze rods. Yes, I did. And put away the redstone. Let's end by going out to look at our cool farm out there and say goodbye to our golem friends. That's, I can't believe how well that's working. I'm, I'm, I, am, I am excited about this, this farm over here. Okay. I'm excited that I got all the way back with the with the the, the tuning fork thingy. Oh, let's go look at these real quick. Okay, you're not done. No, 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 nothing. No. Okay. All right, let's go see our. Oh, they're chopping down a tree right now, aren't they? Hey, why aren't you chopping down this tree? Get to work. Lazy. So this will never produce nearly as much wood as. Like let <laughs> the other guys immediately gets over there and plants it as like a, a MFR farm or something, but it will be um, it'll be satisfactory for what I'm trying to do. I don't need a hundred thousand charcoal anymore. There was a time when I would like want that, but angry zombies. Why so angry zombies? Okay, let's go downstairs and see how this guy's doing. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, doing good, I see. And we got 128 saplings. This is going pretty well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Kyrie091, have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Ooh, we got a lot of wheat. We have 5,000 wheat. Holy cow. Okay, bye guys, for reals. I'm gonna check on my cactus. I'm out. Not that much. Cactus farm is kinda slow going. Okay, bye guys. Ooh, my spruce trees grew. Real quick, check it out. I went ahead and set this up just like I said I would, and should be working all according to plan. Uh, except that this one needs to go in. Okay, and then over here we'll go in, and boom, and boom. Okay, so now we have these things permanently stocked with four pieces of charcoal each. As soon as they burn one piece of charcoal, they will get another piece of charcoal from the ender chest. When this thing needs power, it will send the red pipe signal. It will shut off the red pipe signal, which will turn them on. So this is a pretty goddamn self-sustaining power gen system down here. It's not terribly powerful in how much it outputs, but it's enough to keep my machine line running and I don't have to do a damn thing with it. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Let's go look at it one more time. Let's just go look at this. Let's go look at this shit one last time. I love the way these translocators look. I think they look so cool.